Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, our feet has touched a holy ground but our hearts may be far away from the Lord. And so let us be truly sorry and ask God to penetrate into the depths of our heart and transform us. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the cause of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Tobit. Anna sat watching the road by which her son was to come. When she saw him coming, she exclaimed to his father, Tobit, your son is coming and the man who traveled with him. Raphael said to Tobiah before he reached his father, I am certain that his eyes will be opened. Smear the fish gall on them. This medicine will make the cataract shrink and peel off from his eyes. Then your father will again be able to see the light of day. Then Anna ran up to her son, threw her arms around him, and said to him, Now that I have seen you again, son, I am ready to die. And she sobbed aloud. Tobit got up and stumbled out through the courtyard gate. Tobiah went up to him with the fish gall in his hand and holding him firmly blew into his eyes. Courage, father, he said. Next, he smeared the medicine on his eyes and it made them smart. Then, beginning at the corner of Tobit's eyes, Tobiah used both hands to peel off the cataracts. When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around him and wept. He exclaimed, I can see you, son, the light of my eyes. Then he said, Blessed be God, and praise be his great name, and blessed be all his holy angels. May his holy name be praised throughout all the ages, because it was he who scourged me, and it is he who has had mercy on me. Behold, I now see my son, Tobiah. When Tobit went back in rejoicing and praising God with full voice for everything that had happened. Tobiah told his father that the Lord God had granted him a successful journey, that he had brought back the money, and that he had married Raguel's daughter, Sarah, who would arrive shortly, for she was approaching the gates of Nineveh. Tobit and Anna rejoiced and went out to the gate of Nineveh to meet their daughter-in-law. When the people of Nineveh saw Tobit walking along briskly, with no one leading him by the hand, they were amazed. Before them all, Tobit proclaimed how God had mercifully restored sight to his eyes. When Tobit reached Sarah, the wife of his son Tobiah, he greeted her, Welcome, my daughter. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. Blessed is your father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, And blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessings and joy. Come in, daughter. That day there was joy for all the Jews who lived in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, 
The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations, alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The crowd, the great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. So be assured that we prayed for you when we were on retreat, and we know that you were also praying for us. Today, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that when God opened your eyes to the truth, let your heart rejoice and say, praise the Lord, O my soul. When God heals you, let your heart leap for joy and say, praise the Lord, O my soul. Whatever happens in your life, in good times, in bad times, let your heart always rejoice, saying, praise the Lord, O my soul. We join the psalmist to profess and to say that, bless the Lord, O my soul. It's a beautiful test. I know you know that song. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, right? It must always fill our heart, right? Because God continues to do wonderful things for us. And the least we can do is to let our heart burst off with that kind of joy. Praising God every day. Praising Him every day. And that's what the psalmist is doing today. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. And in our first reading, we see the same thing. God brings healing to Tobit. And when he experienced the healing power of God, he came out and said, Praise the Lord, O my soul. Blessed be God. And blessed be all his angels. I was scourged by the Lord. But through his mercy, God has healed me. And so Tobit and Tobiah and Anna, the entire household were so happy that Tobit can see. Once he was blind, but now he can see. And so his sight brought him to, to, to rejoice in what God has done, praising God for the wonderment of healing, the healing of his sight. My dear brother and my dear sister, God continues to do wonderful things for us. So today I just want you to sink deeply into your own life and see where you need to give praise to God. Not only the good things, but even the bad things where God gave you the strength to stand and penetrate through the difficult moment and became successful. And deeply from your heart, praise the Lord. Let your heart rejoice. Because in joy, we are revived. We are re, uh, rejuvenated to move on in life. God is still in the business of doing wonderful things. 
And you are a true example of that. So really sink into your life and see where God has really touched you. You know, he continues to do great things. He opens our eyes to even see the blind spot in our lives. That's why I started by saying that when God opens you to the truth, the truth about yourself, some of the hidden spots that you didn't know, when you come to, to, to knowledge of it, give praise to God. Give praise to God. Most of us are blind. I'm not talking about the eyes. But we are blind to even our own self. We have lost most of our consciousness. And once you lose consciousness, mm -mm, that's bad. We need to be more conscious of ourselves. Because it's in consciousness that we come to notice more about ourselves, where we need to work on ourselves, where we need improvement, and where we need the power of God to penetrate into our heart. So my dear brothers and sisters, let praise of God fill our heart. It's very important. It's very important. So look at your own life. Sing deep. Reflect. And see where the hand of God is. And when you have noticed that, give praise to him. For it is out of praise God continue to do wonderful things for his sons and for his daughters. Let us join Tobit and Tobiah, who brought medicine for the father's, you know, eyes, sight. That God will also bring people into our life who will help us to see our blind spots. And through his power and through his grace, may he bring us healing so that we can all join the choirs of angels to sing praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Let us rise, my dear brothers and sisters, and with praise in our hearts, bring our intentions before God. <clears throat> that the truth and joy of the gospel may shine forth through the church's preaching and missionary work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we yeah. are that the Holy Spirit may guide the work of all legislatures in protecting the dignity and sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord that God may re reunite and bless all families that are separated or experiencing discord. Let us pray to the Lord that the Lord may help those of us gathered here to be a source of healing and comfort in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, I pray. <laughs> For all those who are having surgery today, that the healing touch of God be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, I pray. For all those who are being married outside of the church, that the families just the Holy Spirit stir in them to bring them back to the church. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ our Savior may have mercy on all those who have died, especially Tom Wirtz, and in the hope of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. For friends and families, for all those who have asked us to pray for them because they believe and trust in our prayers. Most particularly, we pray for Sydney, who prepares for surgery, that through the power of God, God will bring restoration to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come to you with a heart full of praise, thanking you for all the wonderful things you have done for us. Continue to manifest yourself in our daily lives. You make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. The minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, or of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Tom, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters whom we have called from this world to yourself. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network. 